Okay, we are going to attempt to make an envelope fold out. So I was debating whether to use this paper from the Patterns and Solids or this one. Um, but since I haven't really used this much, I'm going to try this. can always use this one, but I'll save this for now. So we'll see. This is going to be cut into a nine and a half by nine and a half. This is, there's no direction on this paper, so it should be easy. So I think I want this to be the inside and this to be the outside. So what you're going to do, um, you are going to draw a line from corner to corner and it doesn't have to be all the way just kind of in the center corner to corner and then again this corner to this corner okay so you're going to take one of your corners, it doesn't matter which one right now because they're all the same. You're going to fold this corner to the center this, where these lines intersect. And burnish that down. Then you're going to flip it and do the other side. And you're going to bring this corner to that center. So pointers pointing to each other, but do not overlap. And then burnish that down. I've written nine and a half on my nice white part. So we got those two sides. Now, let me get the scoreboard. Okay, so now you're going to get your scoreboard and you're going to put this in with one of the edges, it doesn't matter which one, at the top of the scoreboard. And you are going to go over and have this little pointy at this edge. And you are going to go over and score at nine and a half. Make sure this is flush to this edge. This is over here, and you're going to score at nine and a half. And you're going to fold at the score mark. I usually I'm going to fold it this way first. And then I'm going to fold it this way. like that. Now if you're normally if you were going to be making um, an envelope we're going to be cutting these edges so we don't need to do this right now. You would be cutting these little triangles out. There's a little where the where the fold edges came together you'd be cutting this little triangle out right here. Right there. 
where those score marks intersect. You can do that, but you don't really need to because we're going to be cutting this part off anyway. So for now, you've got it folded over. It's like this. You've burnished it. And then you have this little lip right here. I don't like this lip. I am going to put a line right here where it's sticking up. And I am just going to put this flush to the top and I'm going to score this. And I'm going to fold this over, burnish this, and I am going to glue this down, glue this little flap down. So this is what we have so far, it's starting to look like an envelope. Before you glue it down, I'm going to go ahead and ink my edges here. Vintage photo. And let's ink everything. So now we can go ahead and glue this part down. I'm just going to do a little bit more ink in through here. Like I said, we're probably going to have to re-ink it anyway, but Okay, so this part is going to go up like this. So we're going to ha go ahead and just apply the glue in through here. I guess I can go ahead and I'm going to cut that triangle out anyway. Just cut this triangle out. Can you see where the triangle is right there? See that little triangle here to here? Just gonna cut that out. Do, do a very good job there and cut this little triangle out too. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put some glue in through here. Put the glue down. You just don't want this little triangle to interfere down in here. You want to get rid of that bulk that's down in here. So that's why I was messing with it. So, okay, I am putting the glue here and here. And just a thin strip. You don't need much. So now we have this this flap that we need to fold down. Now I where did I put five and a quarter inches? Five and a wow! I I went that far down. Woo! Five 
five and a quarter inches. That doesn't seem like that. I went down to about right here. So this is about five and a quarter inches here. This is going to be scored at four and one quarter. So put this at the top edge here, have your little um, flap, butt it against this side, and then you're going to get this flush over here and score it at four and one quarter. Four and one quarter, go all the way across. Flip it over and do it on this side too. Four and a quarter. And fold it. This should come out to like five and a quarter, so that's that's right. Okay, so now we have this part down, and I do not like this part being so pointy down here. Why? Because I'm going to be doing string circle closure, and I want this a little bit shorter. So what you're going to do, or what I did, is I found the center, which is where the pointy is, and I measured up half an inch, put a mark there, and then from this edge to here, I'm going to measure a half an inch. And put a little tick mark right there. Same thing here. Half an inch. Put a little tick mark here. And then I'm going to, you can draw a line from that tick mark to the center there. pretty even and then put it in your scoreboard get that half more that hit half inch tick mark there go to the point right here and you're just going to cut hopefully I don't screw this up <laughs> oh my goodness A little off there. Same thing, get that lined up. Get this half inch tick mark lined up with this part right up here. And cut. That's better. And then I'm going to get my and if I cut it straight it should work if I didn't cut it it's not going to work that's pretty good so I'm going to now boop, boop, what do I need to do so we got that I'm going to ink this we're still going to cut the edges here, so we haven't finished it. We're going to have to cut off the edges here because we're going to make this open up. So before we ink it, let's just go ahead and put it in um, the paper trimmer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut. I have a nice paper trimmer, so I'm going to just cut just a teeny weeny bit off all the way down here. 
on both sides to open up the envelope. So you just put it in your paper trimmer and trim off just this tiny edge here and tiny edge here. So let me go do that. So I've trimmed those off. So now this opens up like this. So now what you can do is these little wings right here, you can either fold those down and glue them, um, which, let's see. I'm only gonna add a little, if we turn them the other way, it might be a little bulky right there. I'm just gonna trim these off. I'm gonna trim them off just below the fold line. it clears that and now what you can do is if you have any pencil marks erase them and go ahead and ink again we're gonna ink this part So now we have our envelope like this. We're not going to be seeing this part back here. We're going to be adhering this down into our pocket page. Um, let me erase this. I'm going to ink this around here. There's our envelope. Then what you're going to do, we are going to be adding a little insert, a little page, a little, um, what size? It's going to be six and a half, six and five eighths about, but by five, basically six and a half by five. six and, what did I say? Six and five eighths by five. That's what I'm going to, to cut it at, six, five eighths by five. So let me get a piece of paper. What do I, what color do I want to make it? Because we're going to have a pocket insert here. And um, let me figure that out. So I've been working on this envelope. So we had our envelope that we made. Back, we're not gonna do anything with it. I inked the edges real well, and then I just wanted to distress the envelope a little bit more. So I got my vintage photo, put it on my little blobber, wiped most of it off, and then once I got it down to like, like that, where I could just rub, rub it. Then I applied it to, to this. I didn't want big splotches. Still need to do something with it, but it kind of looks like this now. We're still gonna add our circle tie closure somewhere. Um, and then I used this piece from the, the 12 by 12 collection. I just cut a piece that was the same width as the envelope and then just a little bit shorter here and then glued it just with a thin bead of glue at the edges and at the bottom. So now we have this, this pocket. So now we have this, this pocket so you open the envelope and you're going to have a pocket here. 
then you will be able to open this up and you have this side which is the back side of that of this paper so you have this side and then this and then I got this from the 12 by 12 I'm pretty sure this is 12 by 12 and I just cut cut it and um, I think I'm going to put this here as a little tuck spot right here. So this will, it's actually going to go this way, not that it matters. But. So I ink the edges and then, so if this goes here, make sure you have room for it to close. I'm just going to add some glue here, here. And a thin little bit on the bottom here put that there so when this closes it's if I get this straight this is the way I want it to look when it closes like that so I cut out um, right in the middle I did a one inch circle punch so we have that little cut out right in the middle here. So we have our pocket and then we're going to have like this. So this will tell um, the recipient there's going to be something in this pocket. I have my postcard. I'm just gonna put one of these postcards in here and I actually have some um, letters to Santa paper so I'm going to put some letters to Santa in here too so I got my postcard put in there then you would open this up and have this spot for a 5x7 and then a little tuck spot here can put a little photo mat in here and I'm not sure I'm going to do something here in our button tie closure, I was thinking of putting this paper from the 12 by 12 on the back side here and then attaching this. But we need to do something to dress up this envelope. It just looks way too plain. So that I do not know what I'm going to do. But that's where we are right now. So get this card um, to this point here and then we'll see what we're going to do next. So what I'm thinking of doing is using this piece of paper and I just stuck it inside here underneath this flap and I'm just tracing it around here and I'm going to cut this out and put it on top of the flat. So I'm going to hand cut this out and see how it looks. So this is what I am doing. I'm getting some tracing paper, making this harder than it should be. Because what I'm trying to see, I got this paper. Um, this one with the gold on the back. And what I did is I traced out this section right here, like that. And then I cut it and cut out this piece. So that's going to go there. And then now I'm going to trace this section down here. Good enough. And then all I did Let's see where should, what do I want? Put it here. 
And what I did was I just clipped it because I want my words to be going in this direction, up and down. I just clipped it to this piece of paper. And then I just cut cut it out. So now I have this piece. So this should be fitting down here. You just ink the edges and pull it back and then you're just going to trim some of the bottom off. So that's going to look like this. So I thought that was very nice. So I'm going to ink this and trim this. And that's how you use the the tracing paper. Okay, so I have all the pieces um, using the trace tracing paper. Cut out all these three pieces that are going to fit here. So it's going to be something like that. Haven't affixed them down yet because we got to make our circle tie um, closures. So this is going to be going over like this. Now for the these enclosures, I did this one. I basically cut a piece of, this is my three quarter of an inch circle punch. I cut the craft cardstock. I have 80 pound craft cardstock. And I got one of these from the sticker sheet. And basically I just Put it on, hate to use this, but basically what I did is I put it on a piece of cardstock like this, got my three quarter of an inch circle punch. So I just adhered the stamp onto there. If you adhere, you'll see why. So it's easier just to cut it than you center it with your punch and punch. So it's, it's like that. And then you're just going to ink the edges on that. So I have one that's December 25th. If you only have 65 pound cardstock, double it. I, I might add another layer just to make this really strong. That's going to go here, I think. Actually, what, what I ended up doing, because I thought that was a little blasé, I've got, I've got this, and then with my 5 eighths of an inch punch, I just went to this paper and found, let me show you what I cut. I went to the December 25th here, and I cut this out with my 5 eighths of an inch puncher, and I'm going to put this, this December 25th over this December 25th, just so I have the ring of green around the cranberry 25 just so it gives it some more contrast so that's what I was thinking of putting here so this is the first button got my pokey tool right in the middle and put my brad in so we are going to be putting that over here somewhere for this one I, where is it? I am using the gold, the solid gold. 
just the solid gold, this paper on the other side using the three quarter of an inch punch. I'm going to ink it and put it on my 85 pound cardstock craft paper and put that on, glue that on here. And then I'm going to be using this little snowflake. I'm gonna ink that and put that in the center. So I noticed when I was reviewing the videos I made, I did not show you how to do the second button. So basically you're going to get your three quarter of an inch punch and you're either going to cut uh, one or two pieces of your cardstock, depending if you have 65 or uh, 80 pound cardstock and you adhere those together. Then you get the green, the green, the gold paper and you cut a three quarter of an inch circle from that. And then you're going to glue all these together. So the, this is going to form one unit. So you have all three pieces adhered together. They're glued and then the edges are inked. Then you're going to get this paper. And the one I used was this snowflake, this snowflake here. And I just got my five eighths of an inch punch and I punched that one out. You're going to ink this and put it on here. So now you have the snowflake attached to your little button and then you're just going to put it, I like to put mine in my, my matting sheet here and you just kind of center it. Well, this one, you know where the center is because you got the middle of the snowflake. And you put your pokey tool right there. Push that through. And where did my little brad go? So I got my little hole in the center there. Got my mini brad and then the mini brad just goes in there like that. So that's about where we are. We're going to be putting this through the paper, not through, let me show you, this is the completed album. This is just going to be going through the green paper here, and this one's just going to be going through this yellow gold paper, this button. We're not going punching it all the way through. So we're just going to spread out our wings underneath this green paper and underneath this um, golden golden paper. And put my brad right in the center of that snowflake and that's going to go there. So it's going to be something like this once I get it all down. But first we have to make, make the holes through this well, actually through this, and then we'll put it down. And same thing, make the hole through this and then put it down. So let me get everything organized and then I'm going to do that. So I have these semi fixed down, these two panels. Now I'm going to kind of put this one where I want it and it's going to go right there. Let me get my repositional tape right there. This is going to go down and I am going to put this go through that hole. So that is where I'm going to make my hole. So I'm going to do that. Take this off, get my pokey tool.
get this, get my bread. Go through the hole here. Spread out the wings. Flatten out those wings as much as you can. So I have my button in. So this, the edge of my button from the corner is, what is that? What is that? That's a quarter inch, not quite a half an inch, like three eighths of an inch. So about a half an inch, three eighths of an inch from the, the outside. So this will come down like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put um, some, some of my wax linen thread. I'm gonna go under it. Cut off a piece. I'm gonna cut off uh, 12 plus inches. I cut off way more than I need. I can always cut. So what I'm going to do is make a tie in the back, facing the straight edge back here. Make one there and that just kind of lifts the whole thing up so you don't really need a spacer underneath your button and then you do a square knot in the front you want your string to be facing the other button so one and then oh god did I do under or over I think I did over so I'll do under here And this is going to go up towards the other button. Get this straight. I can trim this one off. Get this straight again. Then I'm going to put some black construction tape on the back side. So get this straight, turn it over, put it over those wings. There, now this is ready to be, this piece is ready to be adhered down to here. So got this paper in, here's, here's this button, took out the brad. So we're going to figure out where we're going to place this. So let's, this is just being held on by repositional tape. Make sure it's straight. So that's that. There's the string. So at least a half an inch from that corner. right there. So I'm going to put my my little mark with my pencil. Use my pokey tool. So I put it in and I'll go ahead and just Flatten out those wings and put some tape on there, some construction tape. Got that on. So this is going to go like this. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down. 
So now we have our button tie string closure. And I'm probably going to cut it right here. I might add a charm, so that way. So there's our envelope. That took a long time. Okay, so here's our envelope. Open it up. And we have this spot here for a photo mat or a postcard that would go in here. And then you open this up. This is big enough for a four by six here. And then we have a little tuck spot here. Here's our little pocket. And we have this from the ephemera. I put that down. Letters to Santa, so it's open. So you can put photo mats or, or these postcards in here. Like that. Um, other stuff in there too. And then this will just close up. Might do a little bit more decoration on the outside, but for now that's it for this envelope. And this is going to be adhered to the back of our pocket page. So I ended up putting this diagonal paper down, this one, and I have the stripes going down in this direction. Make sure you know which side's up. Look at your other side. So this is going to go like this. It's going to be centered um, from the sides. Not much space down here. And I'm going to, I got this from the ephemera cut aparts. Ink the edges. And that's going to go somewhere around here like that. And then I made this little special delivery from the North Pole. So that, the special delivery, is coming from the 12 by 12 collection. And I just started at this little flourish right here. Special delivery from the North Pole and ended it with that flourish. So, and that was just backed on some gold on paper just to pop it out and then I put it on some green um, snowflake paper from the 8x8 collection just to pop it out and what I'm going to do where is it I cut out a piece of the craft card stock and made this this is not quite one inch um, what width it is um, seven eighths of an inch wide by five and a half inches long. And what, and I've inked it real heavily. I made these little notches at the end. You can see those little notches. And the way I use that is I just use the, these little things from the ephemera pieces, I use those as some a template to cut out, to trace those little notches and then just cut them out because these are essentially the same width. And just use that, trace those little notches and cut them out by hand. Inked it real heavy. This is going to go like this. And then this will go up here here something like that so it says special delivery from the north pole got their postcards um, so i'm going to get this all down i think that looks very very nice So I adhered this envelope down. On the back, I just put huge strips of my score tape 
basically I covered it score tape all around the corners and inside so it was wall-to-wall -wall score tape and then just make sure you burnish it down real well So next, what we're going to do is we are going to adhere this, the special delivery from the North Pole. I've got ink all over the place, and this is basically going to be centered with the envelope. So I think it's about um, the width of the envelope and about right there. So that's where I'm going to be putting it, about right there. 